Thank you, and uh, welcome everybody to this uh, presentation of um, the member system show built on uh, Nuke framework. Um, we have three persons going to present this. Uh, it's uh, Oleg Nesterov, he's developer and CEO in MindK in um, Ukraine. Yeah. Here's a photo of him from uh, Oslo. <laughs> it's a thing we are doing, it's called Face Down. <laughs> and here is uh, Emily Lindquist. She's a project manager and designer in Already On. Here's a photo of her from uh, Paris. And this is me, Jens Christian Bang. I'm the sales rep and the CEO in Already On. Uh, and this is a photo of me from uh, Kiev in Ukraine. And this is a very uh, famous person. I think he built uh, a Kyrillian alphabet or something. <laughs> so, who are we? Or who built um, Shu? Uh, already on, we are an um, uh, IT company without any technical skills. Uh, in Norway, we are uh, Emily and me, uh, and we are doing the sell selling of uh, applications or web uh, development, and uh, we are doing design and project management. And we are working very close to MindK in Ukraine. Uh, which is a company with a lot of technical skills. There are 10 people, and uh, almost all of them are developers. So they are working with PHP and um, uh, the top layer, and they also have a, a project manager there. So together, we are like one company, IT company, with both sales skills and uh, technical skills. So to the agenda, uh, what is um, uh, AMS? Why did we build it? Uh, what's the vision with the system? Uh, how did we approach the project? Uh, user interface, menus, icons and listings. Uh, how did we develop it? And then a demonstration at the end. That's what we are going through. So what is an association management system? Well, that is a system where uh, you administrate members, uh, more than just like uh, you administrate the customers and contacts in a CRM system, the, way, the same way you administrate uh, members and, uh, and local uh, departments in an uh, association. Uh, and uh, we are coming from Already on, I are from um, Norway, and uh, in that uh, country we have a lot of associations. We have associations for everything, almost. Um, and one of our customers is the Norwegian Choir Association. So, and that's uh, a quite large organization in, uh, in Norway. There are 30,000 members, and they are um, divided into 1,000 different choirs. Uh, and they have a central administration with uh, 11 employees. So this was, uh, was our uh, customer from before, and they needed a system. They already had a system, but it didn't work perfect. So they need a system where they can send out newsletter, uh, newsletter to all their uh, members, or part of the members. They also needed to connect the members to the choirs, since there were uh, 1,000 choirs and they have 30,000 members, they need to know which member were singing in which choir. Uh, they also need to uh, collect member information and do changing of the member information and adding information that they had about the members. Um, and they also had to give access to uh, uh, the community. And that kind of uh, members that they have is not uh, very uh, IT skilled members, so if they want to change their address or something, they very often take a phone call to NCA to do the changes. So it's uh, uh, all kind of users or members in this uh, association. They also need to invoice the members and they needed statistics from day to day, 
about how many members were in which choir or how many members was singing in that district and, uh, and that kind of um, figures. So why did we build this system? Well, we had a customer and that is a good start. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we didn't find any, any association management system in uh, the Joomla uh, ex uh, extension directory. Uh, we, we had looked at uh, other member system like uh, CB and uh, also uh, another one I don't remember the name of, but that was a kind of more um, self-editing um, members. That was members that wanted to change the address themselves and do everything. And we felt that we couldn't do the management from a central administration in the same way that we wanted. We wanted something that looked more like a CRM system, where um, the central administration was was doing a lot of the, the editing of the members, um, and we, of course we had some competitors in Norway that had been in this market for uh, 20 years, so they were very well established in in Norway, but we felt that um, their uh, usability or the usability of their systems was a little old-fashioned. It wasn't web. It wasn't um, uh, wasn't built on the same way that we would do it, so we couldn't use some of them's uh, system either. And then we also had all the members for Norwegian Choirs Association in a Joomla system from before, because we had done a project for them uh, for three years ago, where we built uh, one huge uh, website based on Joomla, with um, uh, thousands of subsites for all the choirs. And from all the choirs uh, sites, you should see all the members. So all we needed was to, to make the management uh, approach for this uh, system. So our vision to, to make SHU was to make the most user-friendly association management system for the Norwegian market built on open source. Like all uh, visions, it's a long sentence. <laughs> So what we meant with this was that we wanted to um, kick ass usability system. We wanted the uh, fewest or easiest click for the task. We are, uh, we are very fond of um, the book Don't Make Me Think by Steve, Steve Krug. Uh, so, so we wanted to build this so it was easy to use for, for uh, the central administration and all the local leaders of the choirs. Uh, and we wanted it to look good. We wanted to, to make this uh, be a, a nice place to work because we knew that they were going to use it a lot. And uh, yeah, we have, we have some some of the yellow uh, uh, notes. Some uh, developers are still living in DOS, you know, disk operating uh, rating system. We wanted to make something more user friendly than character-based applications. And uh, also, we wanted it to be a, a web GUI, because that all applications should be built on, on web. So how did we approach this project? Well, we interviewed all the roles in the Norwegian Choir Association, all, all the different workers that had different roles. We asked how they did do their the work, and we were observing the employers, uh, observing them doing their uh, work with the day-to-day -day tasks. And Emily was um, was observing them, so, so she can uh, explain how she observed them. Yeah, uh, I designed the user interface on this uh, application, so um, uh, I was working at NCA's office. I was sitting next to the people uh, working with them when they were working with day-to-day -day task in their the system they had before this one then, and looking when they got calls and uh, what they were doing in the system. Um, 
what was the things they were doing once an hour, what was the things they were doing only once a day, and uh, how did they approach the system they had, and uh, how long did it take for them to do a simple task like changing address, and uh, how did they do multiple tasks in the system. Um, all this to analyze, to make a better application for them to work with that could uh, more be built for uh, exactly their kind of tasks. Yes? We were also discussing how we could do this better with the customer and uh, we were making all, all the users interface in Photoshop we didn't start with, uh, with uh, the IT part. We start with Photoshop to build the logic the way we thought was best without any um, restriction from the technical uh, staff that would probably say that we should do it more in a Joomla way. So <laughs> we did it the ideal way for the users. And then we made a specification and then we made the development. <laughs> the quick fix. So, uh, our customer said after uh, the pre-project that um, when the supplier spent time to understand our day-to-day -day tasks, we get a really efficient system. Because they understood how the system were going to be uh, already before we started to develop because we had made all the uh, screenshots for how it was going to look. and. Uh, since we had all the screenshots, we could also do um, user uh, usability testing on the screen and let the, let the user tell us how do you make a new member, how do you do like this, and then they were pointing on the screen and telling us how they understood the system. And then, when we built um, the user interface, we were working a lot with we, we tried to, to uh, get inspiration from, from other systems that we uh, thought was, was great or worked very good. Uh, we was also thinking that this is not an ordinary website, this is an um, advanced application or for an organization, it's the heart of the organization because that's where the members are and uh, the members are what they are working with every day. And one member user or a user in the central administration are logged in and using this system many hours per day, all the day, and they are also using the system for multiple operations. So then we uh, chose to use uh, ribbons. We have used ribbons in Office, we have used ribbons in uh, Dynamics CRM, in SharePoint, a lot of uh, system that is very much used by other users and that we know that have been spent a lot of time with. We, we try to get some inspiration from iPhone, from Android, using large icons and the, the same way of easy usability. And we used also a lot of listings so we could see several records on the same time and advanced filtering that we could save so that we can have quick access to all the choirs in one district or all the members in that was uh, for example women over 40 years so we had uh, listings that we could get to very fast and here you see what we made with uh, ribbons and the listings and then over to Oleg that is going to tell you about the developing part. Hi, uh, but before we start, I would like to know how many of you are developers, PHP, um, okay, and uh, how many of you uh, have tried Nuku framework? <laughs> okay, that's cool. So, uh, what is two from the programming uh, uh, perspective? Uh, of course, it's built on Joomla, and uh, why we uh, chose Joomla. Uh, the first reason uh, it's open source, it's, uh, it's free. Uh, second reason is that uh, the client uh, had a website already built uh, on Joomla, so they know the system and uh, 
they uh, don't have to learn something new. And the last reason that uh, MindK, uh, the developers uh, uh, worked with uh, Joomla for about six years and uh, our, our primary uh, tasks uh, 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 developing Joomla components, uh, templates, and whole uh, and the whole website. Uh, but when we start uh, brainstorming the project, uh, we f we found that uh, that's uh, not uh, a simple website, and and we can't create just uh, a Joomla component, yeah, install it and use it. Uh, it's a kind of uh, a separate system. And uh, that was uh, there was uh, there were some uh, obstacles with uh, finding out uh, how to build this system in the best way. Yeah, but finally we found them. So uh, as I said, uh, it's not a website; it's more like a web application. Uh, and we uh, didn't have time to reinvent uh, the wheel uh, to make some routine tasks. Yeah? And uh, Joomla is good; it's pretty good, but uh, it's good for you know, small uh, components. And uh, I don't think that uh, it's uh, it's. Uh, robust enough for some huge uh, solution. So uh, that's why we needed uh, some uh, fresh, modern framework. And uh, there are uh, not so many uh, good frameworks for Joomla, except Joomla itself. Yeah? And uh, of course, we choose Nuku framework. And uh, we had some experience uh, with it before, but not that much. And uh, we tried it in full uh, in uh, this project. Yeah. So uh, the core uh, framework is Joomla, and uh, uh, all the code uh, is written uh, by using Nuku framework. Uh, but of, but also uh, Nuku is is a framework, yeah, and you still need to write some code. Yeah? And uh, we had some special tasks from clients and from a designer. <laughs> Uh, that's why we needed uh, some tools uh, to be developed. Yeah. And so, so uh, on top of uh, Joomla uh, and on top of Nuku, uh, we developed uh, our layer. We, call it, we called it M layer. M is from MindK, of course. <laughs> and uh, uh, for those of you who uh, used Nuku, uh, Nuku has a com default component. Yeah. It's uh, integration with uh, Joomla, yeah? uh, and and uh, our M layer is uh, just uh, another com default uh, component. And yeah? and uh, as you probably know, everything in the web is just lists and forms, lists and forms, and no less, no more. Yeah. And so uh, of course, uh, this project uh, has a lot of lists and a lot of forms, and uh, we will show. Uh, those forms uh, to you in a few minutes and that's why we uh, had to build uh, a few tools uh, that would help us uh, to manage lists and forms and uh, we called them grid list or grid list robust uh, grid system uh, and uh, m validator or mega validator for ajax uh, form validation yeah and if we combine all those things uh, we will get uh, Two system, yeah, and uh, now I, I think uh, I'll show you some code, yeah, maybe some part of code, yep. So, and uh, I will also start uh, showing you a demo. So, this is actually the true login. As you may see, it's the administrator and then true. And this is one of those things. You can access true like a Joomla component, like a regular Joomla component, and you can access true like uh, an external system. Uh, because uh, the client uh, wanted uh, different. Uh, uh, stuff, uh, different uh, people in their company to access uh, the system differently. And so they have uh, people uh, 
administrators uh, that uh, have access uh, to the whole website. They uh, update news, uh, add and manage content, uh, and also they need access to the system. And uh, they also have uh, uh, other people uh, that uh, don't want to bother themselves working with content, and they uh, just need to uh, take out reports from the system. So that's why we build it uh, as a separate system, and at the same time it's uh, Joomla, it's based on Joomla, and it's in installed uh, like a Joomla component. Yeah. So if we log in here, oh, in what it's talking, yeah, <laughs> that is Joomla. Yeah. So now you will see the first demo of two, and you may see that this uh, com add two component add two is the such like uh, working. Uh, a uh, working name of the system. Yeah? It was the first name of the system, H2. And uh, how many components uh, are used uh, here? What do you think? One. One component? Okay. More answers? No? <laughs> no? No? Yeah, but uh, if you speak about this uh, particular page, yeah, that screen. <laughs> okay, uh, right now it's uh, uh, two components. It's uh, com at show. It's a wrapping component, and so uh, all what it does is uh, just to render toolbar, yeah, tabs and uh, toolbar, and uh, uh, executes the HMVC. System, uh, system, yeah. But uh, now we are think uh, that we can move the toolbar to a separate uh, component, so that will be three components uh, loaded at the same time. Yeah. Uh, so uh, how did we do this? Uh, it's it's a benefit of using uh, Nuku framework. Yeah, it has uh, built-in HMVC uh, pattern. Uh, do you know what HMVC? Human MPC? Uh, what? Is that human MPC? Hu uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's good. I need to write it down. <laughs> this definition down. It's very good. It's uh, it's from the uh, hierarchical MVC. Yeah. So uh, when you uh, usually load the page, yeah, uh, you. Uh, the system executes only one controller at the same time, yeah, and then controller executes model, view, and so on. Uh, when you use an HMVC, uh, two or more components are, uh, not components, sorry, uh, controllers are executed at the same time. Yeah. So uh, these components like districts, squires, contacts, reports, they are separate uh, components. And if you, if you see them here, we have com echo main component, and then we can, and then we have com echo wire, uh, communication, content, and so on. So uh, we keep code separate, yeah, and uh, we have uh, small uh, components. Yeah, we don't have uh, uh, models folder with uh, hundreds of uh, files, yeah, uh, but uh, the system can be rendered only through the main component, yeah. So, and these, uh, I call them helper components, uh, even don't have uh, the main uh, file, which is required by Joomla. So if you access uh, them from the browser, uh, you will get a restriction. And, and uh, that uh, helps us uh, to do all the access management to the system in this uh, main component. So there is only one entry point for the whole system, but at the same time the, the code is uh, separated and so when we need to add uh, new uh, pages or uh, new features we just add a, a new component and it will be rendered uh, automatically. So why not have more views that you can display more views instead of more components at once? Ah, well, uh, that's a matter of uh, uh, keeping everything in uh, one uh, one place and uh, well, uh, if you 
see here we have uh, well each of uh, such uh, pages uh, is a component itself yeah. uh, by saying component I mean it uh, has a lot of features yeah so if we keep uh, everything in one folder yeah, it will would be really hard to uh, keep an eye on uh, uh, everything yeah yeah that's right yeah. so this is uh, this is more a set of components yeah uh, and so that's why we call it a system yeah not a Joomla component yeah oops Uh, so uh, I told you about uh, filtering and uh, uh, fields uh, validation. So uh, we built uh, a library called, and we called it uh, Grizzlist or Greedy or Greedlist. <laughs> yeah. So this list is built uh, by uh, the Greedlist. Yeah. And let's see what it ah uh, not not uh, not video. <laughs> uh, what it takes to make such list. For example, if we uh, on the choir page, we have a grid list, and we have a list. So this is uh, an XML definition uh, for this list. You just uh, define uh, what fields you need, uh, what filtering. Uh, it supports uh, different uh, types of uh, fields like uh, publish and publish, uh, ordering. Yeah, so it uh, takes up everything, and uh, you you just uh, uh, create the business logic of your application. Yep. And if we uh, speak about uh, filtering, you know, we have both uh, simple filters like simple search, yeah, and we have uh, robust filters. If you need to uh, make some robust filtering you can choose uh, different uh, conditions uh, so if, if you're filtering by a choir we can uh, we, we can choose whether it would be like or equal or not equal and uh, uh, the system uh, knows uh, the field type so if it's about members uh, you will have another options and and then you can uh, filter by multiple uh, conditions uh, and you can simply store this filter. Yeah? So if you give it name, uh, uh, it will be stored. And if you mark it as global, uh, that filter will be stored for all users inside your user group. And by the way, we used uh, Noix ACL uh, for the access management in Joomla. Uh, if you ask me why, just because it was already on their website. Yeah? And they uh, already used it, yeah, that filter. Uh, that. Ah, uh, you just uh, need to define them in the XML. Uh, let me show another example with filtering. Now, uh -huh. and uh, uh, how the system? You asking uh, how the system knows? Uh, yeah. Here? Yeah. yeah. No, it's not uh, hard coded. Uh, the system just uh, parses uh, the database definition of the table yeah, and uh, get uh, all the uh, fields from there. Yeah. Uh, well, that, well, uh, if you speak about uh, these options, yeah, the, of course they are uh, hard coded. No, uh, they are they are defined. So if the field is uh, integer, yeah, then we uh, have these options. If it's a choir name, it's, uh, so this is a string. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, uh, Emily, do you want? 
Um, I can just go through some of the system so you get a view of the whole system from uh, maybe a, a more of a usability view of it. Um, as you see, see here, this is a list of all the choirs in the association. You see the name, you see what district they belong to, the leader, uh, which are the... Do you get what's the name? Conductor. Conductor. <laughs> and uh, how many members it is in the choir. Uh, you can also go to uh, the district tab. And uh, of course, instead of choirs, you see every district. You see which region they are belong to, which are the leader in the district. And uh, also email and how many choirs they have in the district. And we can try one of this filtering. Uh, let's say, for example, I want to see every choirs in uh, every district. Region, I mean, in this region, and I also want to see how many choirs the ones that have more than 10. I can submit the filter, and uh, instantly I get the district with more than 10 choirs in this region. And as uh, Oleg told, uh, you, I can also save the filter. So I can save it as... Uh, and now I have it up here so I can uh, create my own views uh, that uh, I want to use and I can uh, store them as global if I want every other user to be able to get to them as well. Um, I can also go for example uh, I want to see every member in a choir I can click on the choir and I get the contact card of that choir uh, I see the basic information about the choir. I can change it. Uh, and the field also know if I write something uh, wrong, for example. This is about uh, usability also. Uh, important for them to know when they write something wrong in a uh, numeric field. and. Also, always get the OK when it's saved, so you know that everything was fine and it uh, was saved. Uh, before they had a system that when they started to write in a field, it was instantly saved. <laughs> so they could uh, start writing something and then they got a phone call and then later it was just, oh, what was I doing? Oh, I can't go back. No way back. And so I worked a lot with this, get, uh, getting a lot of messages. Uh, when you do things and uh, always confirm things that it's right. Um, here we can see it's the same tab system. Uh, you can see the members in that choir. And also for uh, a big problem they had before was that they only could have uh, one window. Uh, and now they can have multiply, they can like oh, I want to see this member's contact information. And then, yeah, maybe that wasn't right, but I still want that one. Let's see this one as well. They can work with uh, multiple windows, like this. They can also, on all levels, uh, on both district and choirs and member levels, I have like a small CRM system they can uh, 
write notes, like history notes, like if someone have called and they can go back later and see uh, uh, what they have wrote here and can see which user had made a note. Uh, and <coughs> they also have a part called a web mm, because every district and every choir had their own space at the Joomla site uh, so here they got the link to the website and uh, other info um, they can also generate because this is for administration uh, if a district for example call them and say we have a problem on um, our web page uh, so please can you help us with this uh, of course they can't see the password but they can uh, generate a temporary password and log in one time with that and then see it from the district point of view and to help them without changing anything in the password. Yeah. Mm. And uh, if it has been important to always mark where you are um, that was a big concern they had before and they didn't have a good overview of all the fields it was um, a bit messy and they had to take uh, a lot of clicks to get uh, this main information was uh, hidden <laughs> under yeah like 10 clicks to know everything so uh, it was important for them to get the quick information the important information on this first tab and then all the yeah yeah <laughs> ah okay that, yeah I can click it away, so I can if I don't want it uh, there anymore. But yeah, sure, it's. Uh, yeah, but that's uh, Joomla uh, messages, so they are yeah. they came from Joomla. Now look at the message generator Joomla, but usually in Joomla, if you then click on another link, the page reloads and the message is gone. Oh yeah. So she's been clicking a few times. And yeah, but that's uh, that's one page. This uh, adjusts, but that's a good uh, idea to to hide uh, that message when we switch to another page. So thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, I was wondering if it was a customer requirement so that they remember that they. No, that okay. wasn't a requirement. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it isn't a requirement. But as uh, as you said, it's no reloading when you move yeah. from this tabs. from the tabs. So everything goes uh, really fast and from the beginning we were talking a lot because I really like, you know, mouse over. And so uh, we st I started out with the idea that I wanted this to be mouse over. But as you can see this is a day-to-day -to -day tool for this organization. So uh, for them uh, to have mouse over was just a lot of confusing for them because uh, okay for a website but when it's an application you need sometimes you need the click to to understand that you moved somewhere um, so it's also something we have worked with a lot As you see here, a contact page is also built on the same. It's a listing, and uh, it's um, they have um, multiple ways to find a member. If they know the name, they can go uh, directly to members and just search up their member. But if they only know the choir, they can go and search the choir and then go to the members in that choir. Um, so they have a lot of ways to find the right path. Um, this is also first, uh, Jens Christian told you about this, uh, we built every every single uh, page in Photoshop first so that we had some uh, usability testing with the uh, customer, the customer sit down with the uh, just JPEG image and uh, we asked them, you know, um, where do you do this or where do you think this is found and, and all that. So it's really um, a system built 
for them and for their day-to-day -day tasks. Mm, yeah, I think that was... Five minutes more? <laughs> Five minutes more. <laughs> Is there something else you Anyone want to see? Or I have a question? You could take the, uh, the short list with the last scene and last uh, Yeah, of course. Uh, up here you also have a short list of uh, your last viewed and your last edited uh, choir. Uh, and you have the same on contact and district. And that's because uh, we saw a big, um, big thing was uh, when they have uh, been editing a choir, uh, like um, two hours or three hours later, they were just, oh, wait, I should have done this as well. And they have to, again, go into the system, search up that choir. And uh, therefore, we made this links for them to uh, get access really quickly to last edit and... Yeah. I'm just impressed with the layout. I must say, I'm very impressed with the layout. It looks very nice. Thank uh, you. Are you going to take us to the desktop desktop later? Yeah. Yeah, I think we will do this. And... Uh, you <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> take the mic. Uh, this is just uh, an example of the system uh, for for a client. Yeah, and so uh, when we uh, uh, build it, uh, we uh, bear in mind that uh, that's not uh, once one instance. Yeah, and uh, already on is going to sell to sell a lot of two systems. Yeah, uh, so uh, this is a base system, and uh, this is just a design of uh, the system. Yeah, like uh, an instance, like class instance, if you speak about uh, programming. Yeah, uh, so uh, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yep, yep, and uh, uh, we, uh, starting from uh, this uh, project, we decided to move it from project to product, yeah, so uh, we will have versions, yeah, and uh, we will also uh, sell uh, some base system, maybe in, uh, maybe like uh, a ser uh, software as a service, yeah, and we are uh, aiming to load it as a desktop application and uh, since uh, it's based on Nuku framework and Nuku has Nuku desktop and so uh, yeah I think it will be possible Johan is it possible oh that would be great uh, it's in testing yeah it's in testing uh, right now but it's uh, hasn't been completed yet. <laughs> so this is a working version, not a release. Yeah. Um, well, we can maybe try it uh, in the last session. Uh, mm. Yep. Great. Hmm? Any more questions? Yeah. <laughs> Two songs. Two songs. If you like, <laughs> you don't like. <laughs> uh, I can say about usability, so I'm going to have a talk about uh, usability this uh, Sunday also. So I'm going to uh, go further into that area about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.